was on another hunt down in Texas. I flew away from the snow and cold, only to hit the rain and cold. I'd wanted to hunt rabbits in the morning, but nothing came out. It was just too wet and too windy. The gun I chose for the hunt was my beautiful FX Crown, opting for the 30 caliber barrel. The first thing you notice when you see this gun is the desert camo stock done for me by Utah Air Guns. But it's the superb accuracy and flat shooting, hard hitting performance that I was counting on. However, my main objective on this trip was predators. Fox and bobcat were my primary target. Not to say I passed on a coyote if the opportunity presented. You got him. A flat shooting gun is a real plus in this situation. This fox was anchored at 60 yards with a heart lung shot. He's down. Let's keep it running. I walked out to collect my game a couple minutes later and it was stone dead. Show me how to do it. Sure. We tried a couple more spots. On the third set, cut a flash of eyes behind a clump of brush. The fox wouldn't come out to the rabbit, but when Chacho squeaked, he stepped out for a look. Another broadside, just as he turned to go back into the brush. We called a couple more fox and a bobcat, but couldn't get them set up for a shot. <laughs> Heading back, we spotted two raccoons up in a tree. They tear up the feeders and shot on sight is a real pest out here. Oh, Chacho and I were out uh, hunting for uh, predators last night, doing some calling. You'll see the footage, or you've seen the footage already. Uh, and uh, we had uh, uh, we had some luck. We had uh, three or four fox come in. I shot two. One you'll see in the video. One, the fox came running across at about 50 yards and wouldn't stop. Um, Chacho squeaked him. He stopped dead for just an instant. That instant, I, I hit him and just rolled over dead. So uh, these are the uh, the two fox. We're gonna. We're gonna tube these out. I want the uh, I want the furs and uh, the uh, the FX Crown. Man, 30. I was using the 30. This thing was awesome. Uh, first uh, fox that you saw was at 60. I think 62 yards, somewhere between 62 and 65. Um, and uh, the second one, like I say, was 50 something. But uh, this gun hit them both. I hit them both with uh, with lung shots. I got uh, just really good terminal performance. They both just dropped on the spot were dead almost instantly and uh, this gun was dead accurate for me. I really enjoy shooting it. Hunting predators at night can be difficult under lights because it's really hard to estimate the distances. So you know one of the things we do is we'll set the uh, the call out at 30 or 40 yards. We know what that is and we can kind of guesstimate where the animal is based on on that uh, so we can get the, the right hold over uh, you know for the trajectory of the air guns. But this is pretty flat shooting. I didn't have to do a lot of, of tweaking with it. Uh, and uh, again, this is a beautiful gun. The guys at uh, Utah Air Guns did the uh, the finish for me, desert camo pattern. 
Uh, I've got the 30 to 25 barrel for this. I also have the, uh, the arrow um, barrel, and I'll do a little bit more with that, maybe do some pigs in the next uh, month or so with it. Um, but uh, done a great job. Uh, the gun, side lever action, smooth as butter, very fast to cycle. Rotary magazine uh, is, uh, it indexes flawless. They've never had a hang up or a problem with it. Um, so everything about the gun, I'll put up the specs right, right there. I'll put up the specs right there and uh, tell you about uh, all the, uh, all the, the things that us air gun geeks like to have up there. I'll, I'll put them up so you can look at them. Uh, but again, got a pair of uh, beautiful fox. Um, we called in, we had a bobcat, but I couldn't get an angle on him, uh, and that was, that was unfortunate. A um, couple of other fox. Didn't see any coyotes here. I was at another ranch before I came out here, and there were, you, you couldn't swing a dead cat without hitting a coyote. They were everywhere. We're going to go back out there this afternoon and try some day calling uh, before, we, uh, before I say goodbye to Chacho and I move on. So, uh, so again, had a, uh, had a blast uh, out here hunting with my buddy Chacho. We get out a few times a year and always have a, a good time. Um, so this one was a uh, was a uh, hunt in the morning for javelina, and then came back in the uh, the evening to go uh, predator calling. If you like this kind of visit video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please uh, subscribe. Again, somewhere up here uh, at the end of the video, subscribe and uh, come back. There'll be more coming.